Hi, I'm Cathy from Simply Sustainable Ideas and I'm giving you tip number four towards better recycling habits. The focus is on plastic bags and the main takeaway when thinking about what to do with plastic bags is to think Bilbo bag out, not Bilbo bag ins. <laughs> Sorry, I can't say it without laughing. Um, you may thank my husband for his influence uh, for me thinking about that little thing. Um, but hopefully it's something that will stick. Bilbo bag out, not Bilbo bag ins. Plastic bags are one of the biggest contaminants that we've got. You could be the best recycler on the planet. You can sort all of your plastics out. You can squash those bottles and put those lids back on. You know where the glass goes. Unfortunately, if you wrap everything up um, in a plastic bag and then pop that into the recycling bin, it is going to lead to a contamination of the load. The recycling men may or may not accept it um, straight away. And part of that reason is because they can obviously see that it's in a bag, which isn't accepted. And secondly, because it's in a bag, they actually can't see what other items you're trying to recycle. So it might mean in their mind that all of that recycling that you have done, um, they might just think that there's more contaminants inside the plastic bags. So your recycling should be free and loose and, uh, I don't know, just pour it in and let everything make a sound as you're taking it from inside, pouring it out into the outside bin. You know, scare your neighbours. Um, but just make sure that you're not putting any plastic bags in that bin. The plastic bags, this includes those black bags, uh, the black bin bags, the white bin bags, the shopping bags. It can be even some of these flimsy bags. I picked this one up uh, yesterday when I was cycling out, floating around. So I thought I will take that home and dispose of that. Um, and there are four things that you can also think of when it comes to dealing with plastic bags. So number one, firstly, is it necessary? Does it have to be in a plastic bag? Is there a chance that you can buy an item without having that plastic on it? Prevention of even having the waste in the first place makes it so much, e so much easier to think about what it is that you're doing with your waste once you've got it. So first one, prevention. Don't get it if possible. Second one, is it something that you can reuse? Ziploc bags, they can be used numerous times. It's not like a use it once and then throw it away. You can wash them out, um, keep them going until they've got holes in them, which isn't also great, but just try and use them as often as possible. Um, the third option, see if there's a scheme at a local supermarket to you that accepts uh, plastic bags. I know Tesco's is trialing them at certain stores and I believe in America Giant does um, a scheme about accepting shopping bags or grocery bags. Um, back at their stores. So see if that's an option for you. Number four, if none of these options are going to work, it must go in the general waste bin. Please don't be a positive hoper with, with the recycling because as I say, it will contaminate the loads, um, which could have a much bigger impact um, later on when you know the, the recycling men have done their rounds. So it must go into the general waste bin. And the only extra piece of advice that I would give you if it is going into general waste is to please cut it up so it's not a bag anymore. This is because if something bad were to happen and it got out um, to wildlife, it means that there's, whilst that's terrible, um, it just means that it's not something that an animal can get stuck in. So it's a simple thing to do. Just rip it open, make sure there's nothing that's, that anything can get stuck in and then pop that into your general waste bin. So remember, Bilbo bag out, not Bilbo bag in. Um, and then think prevention first, do I actually need that bag? Can I get it loose? Um, secondly, is it reusable? Can I reuse it as often as possible? Thirdly, is there a scheme nearby that accepts uh, these bags? And finally, pop it into the general waste bin, but just make sure you've cut it open first. Good luck. Fingers crossed. You've got this. <laughs>